hello hello everyone it's Bobby Joe and welcome to my home I am coming to you with an update on hashtag smash my craft room um, I don't remember if I did one last month I know I took some time off of social media so I'm not sure when that started and ended however I have some updates for you today so first and foremost I have a confession um, when I started the uh, hashtag smash my craft room, I didn't factor in diamond paintings and stuff like this. Um, and I already had one going. The problem <laughs> was that the one that I had going wouldn't stick. It would stick and then the, the drills came right back up again. I like I would stick them and go on three drills, for instance, and that one would come up. And then I go another three drills and one more would come up. So needless to say, it got frustrating. I tried sealing it as I went, did not make a difference. They still were starting to come up. So I think it was that poured glue. I'm hoping that, yeah. I'm hoping that I know everybody wants poured glue, but if it doesn't stick while you're doing the diamond painting and you can't get through it, but I tried everything and I was so frustrated and I said, this is not the way to do a diamond painting. The whole point of diamond painting is to be a nice mindless activity that you can just relax to. So what I did is I did purchase a new diamond painting. I didn't really consider it in with my craft room because I would, I only, like I purchased a diamond painting, do it for months because my hands, do it for months. When I'm finished, I purchase another one. So I'm not too worried about my diamond painting situation. If um, I did like, buy multiples and stack them up now no I I know I can't do that because it takes me so long to do them so I would love to I would <laughs> looking at it I love looking at diamond paintings I love looking at diamond paintings anyways so I did purchase a diamond painting um I however I did notice that the first one I ever did I did not seal I had put it away and said, okay, yeah, and then kept putting it off, putting it off. I did take that one out and seal it. So I am very happy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but at least it's sealed. It's not going anywhere. If I decide to put it in a frame, fine. If I decide to de-stash it, fine, but it's all sealed. So I don't have to keep thinking about it. In the lines of paper, <laughs> that is the biggie. Um, first, I'm very happy. Number one, I de-stashed. Well, no, I didn't de-stash. I purged a lot of items. I went through my a lot of my stuff and I said, is this singing to you? Does this seem like something that you're looking forward to creating with. I'm not completely done with that yet, but I do have, like, I'm going to go through every one of my paper, my paper holders, and see if there's anything in there I'm not excited about about creating with but I went through a lot I, I did get rid of a lot of paper um, a lot of six by six and pads um, it's it's great intentions to use them all I, I love them all but there's just too many there's too many and like I've said before I'm getting overwhelmed in my craft room so just by letting a bunch of stuff go yesterday, I met this lady. She is a sweetheart. I won't say her name. She may not be into that kind of stuff, but she is an absolute sweetheart. And she's starting her journey, you guys, with paper crafting. 
I get so excited when people start crafting and haven't done it before to see number one their development it's the development it's how for instance my my uh cards my cards were beautiful i am um, i thought in the beginning anyways <laughs> they were they were good they were all right they were pretty but my like my parents said you can see the progression as it goes the longer i do crafting the better my cards get so it's the same thing with um albums the more i do the better i get with them um, and you guys understand what i mean because we've all been through the same thing so it, i get so excited when somebody is starting this paper crafting for the first time and they're excited so I set her up. I made sure she was set up so that she could go home, sit down and create. And you just start with something simple, just something very, very simple, you know, and you can just, it just runs from there. So anyways, I was very happy with that. I got a lot rid of a lot of stuff. Um, and I even gave one of the, I made, um, a six by six holder I gave her one of those because I had two but now I only have one one six by six holder I had two six by six holders and they were like the book uh, book stops on each side, <laughs> side. <laughs> for more so and some of them I never even touch. Like some of the some of the um, um, uh, paper pads, I never used anything out of them, um, and it's it's a sin because it. But sometimes can, can, like companies will send you things and stuff, and you just can't use it all. So I'm glad it's going to someone who's uh, excited to use it. So. I've been doing that cleaning out feels great also I've been working on my Alice in Wonderland album that I think I started last last year around this time could have even been earlier so I had it made like the album made um, but not decorated or and no um, like no um, things on the pages and stuff like this so the front of it so far and this is just it's not finished yet so this is the front and what i did is i just took a separate piece for the uh, by it's the uh, spine and this is the front i will be doing some um layering of course on it um also but i wanted this alice in wonderland down here but yeah i'll be layering and things like that this is the so either side of the spine and uh, we've got I've got a thing made already with and for that and that is the back cover so then I put this on it I want this to as I'm working on this I want it to get more and more shabby kind of thing um so it is getting that way the more i work on it so then in here i've started off already with that and then these pull out for pictures and then i've got this And I'm trying to follow the story somewhat. So um, got some pockets here. I haven't done much with that page yet. Um, I've got this um, waterfall. And then this, it, this has a tab that you can see on the side of the album. 
and then this comes out and you can put photos in there I'm going to de-stash I think this one when I'm done with it and then I've got the back cover done so still quite a bit to do but I am so pumped I'm finally getting to it I have so many things I want to do and then I might I will be doing like a page by page with you guys and then I might um, de-stash it or what have you so I um, I'm loving it but I love I learned to love all of my albums as I work on them I love them more and more and more so yeah and uh, I think it's gonna come out well I even had like the, they have like tarts that go missing and I and it's got the tart paper and I just put some glitter as a, for sugar and then I um, glossy accented the um, part where it was the tart part so I was happy with that but I cannot wait to do the cut of parts look at this paper you guys oh. Stamperia is the best and Stamperia and I got one um, from uh, um, AliExpress which is kind of like these ones here and they just coordinate well together I'm so happy with it so I'll keep going with that and then show you guys the final project but it is getting me to use that paper that I was hoarding um, so I was I like it was the Alice paper was yeah very dear to me <laughs> so um, what else have I been doing I think that is all so right now I'm going to um, uh, Che's got to have his insulin but I will be going to um, my diamond painting table and hopefully setting this up so we, we can start my new diamond painting and be painting along because I don't have anybody to craft with. So what I want to do is do a little craft with me. I like craft with me's because it makes me and they make me feel like I'm crafting with someone. So and just like I just listen to the videos and uh, stories that the person's telling and stuff like this. And it just makes me feel like I'm you know, with somebody else. Anyways, you guys, you have a good night. I am going to do that. And I hope you enjoy this video. And if you're into diamond painting, hopefully you'll join me on the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.